Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Votes for Women. Votes for Women is a game published by Fort Circle Games, designed by Tori Brown. Plays one to four players in, I can't find the time on the lid, might be in the rule book, but have that buried. Uh, I've played a solo game in about an hour, so um, if you're playing with real people, look at about an hour and a half, maybe. And effectively what you're doing in this game is you are taking on the role of either the suffragists or the opposition, trying to either get the 19th Amendment, which allowed voting based on gender and all that stuff as a right passed or if you're a posi opposition you want to keep that thing from getting passed keep it at 18 amendments and we'll be there so that's kind of what you're doing uh, if you play solo you're playing as a suffragist against the opposition bot you can play teams and all that kind of thing but what i'm going to show you is how to play a solo game so let's go out of the table check it out come on play the game all right, so here's a game of Votes for Women, all set up for a solo game. So in a solo game, you're gonna set it up basically, well, I need to take some of these cards out here real quick. Basically, just like you would a two-player game, except you're gonna be using a different deck for the opposition side. So I've done that. You'll take some cards out of the deck, which I haven't done just because I'm not gonna play through the whole thing, so it doesn't really matter. But um, in a solo game, you will Shuffle the state cards. They'll look like this. There's two states for each of the regions in the deck. So it's a possible of 12 cards. We're gonna have nine. You remove three. Take out the cards that aren't used for oppo bot. Flip three strategy cards. Then you're gonna put all the dice next to a supply. And in the oppo deck, it's gonna be sorted by middle era, early era, and late era. You'll shuffle late, shuffle middle, shuffle early, put late, middle, early as the deck. Do the same for the suffragist. And then the suffragist deck will also have a start card, which starts in your hand, and then you'll draw six more cards. So you'll have seven cards. Opposition does not have any cards. Uh, then each player, the opposition will have red cubes and red X's and some buttons that they can get, which look like this. There's two designs. Anti-suffrage is the opposition. Then uh, the suffragists will have check marks yellow cubes and purple cubes and different voting buttons that they have. They all mean the same thing. They just have different designs for a little bit of flavor. All right, so let's go ahead and start playing and you'll see how this game works. So in order for, let's talk about win condition first, I guess. So in order for the suffragists to win, they have to get enough support in Congress, that means getting these six pillars down in here on the dots to get con congressional support for the 18th Amendment, or 19th Amendment, I think it's 19th Amendment, whatever amendment it is, I forget, I'm terrible with this stuff. Uh, and then they're gonna send the amendment to the states for them to ratify. The suffragist player has to get 36 states and they win. So if they can get congressional support and get 36 states in their favor, they win. If they get con congressional support, but uh, but the opposition gets 13 states in support, the opposition wins, or if they can't even get congressional support, the opposition wins, All right? So those are the win conditions. So now the way this game works is on your turn, you're gonna play a card and you're gonna have one of four actions. You can play a card for the event. So say I play this, I'll do what the card says. Then I discard it and that's my turn. I can play a card to um, a lobby or I forget what it is. Lobby, campaign, and I forget the other one. Um, but, or I can discard a card. If I didn't want to use it as the event, I can discard a card and take a button for all of the supporters of the purple and yellow. These are the oppositions that are out on the board. So not great at the beginning because you can't get any of those. Third thing is you can campaign. And I could just spend any card that I want. Don't care about the text. And then once I get campaigners on the board, I can roll dice to get cubes out in the region where those campaigners are. Okay, so that's what the little meeples are doing. 
And for the fourth action, I can lobby Congress. Same thing, I can burn any card that I want. I have to roll a D6. If I can get a six, that's a good roll, I can put a column on Congress and I have earned some support in Congress. And we're gonna do six turns doing one of those four actions as a suffragist. The Oppa bot is going to either play the event on the card when it's their turn or they're going to campaign. That's how they work, okay? So let's go ahead and go. Suffragists are always first, so I get to play any card that I want. And I think they give you this start card, so I might as well play it. Seneca Falls Convention, add one purple and orange campaigner to the Northeast region. They always go in the, um, the white circles on each region. Receive two buttons, so now they have two buttons. And I put two cubes in New York. Now, I'll explain the colors in a little bit, but mostly you want to spread different colors within each queue in each state because some of these cards will let certain colors be eliminated so you don't want to just put all of one kind of co color in there and that's my turn so i did the event done now oppo bot on their turn on turns one of round one turn one of round three and turn one of round five they're going to play one of these starting cards so their first card is the patriarchy play on turn one round one add one campaigner in the southern region and then add one in each state in the Northeast region, Atlantic and Appalachian region, and Southern region. So basically, all this side of the board is gonna be getting a pile of cubes. Midwest too, right? Yes. So we're gonna be putting a bunch of cubes down. Now, I already have some cubes in New York. Only one side can have cubes, so when I put one, when the opposition puts one down, it'll make one of the other ones go away. So it just eliminates some cubes. So let's go ahead and do all that. This is gonna take a minute. There's a lot of states. I think there's eight states in each region, six regions. Yeah, that right, 48, yep. Hawaii and Alaska are not states at this time. So they are not in the game. It's just what happened when, it's just whatever was a state at the time that we were trying to get suffered, suffered for women. Uh, almost there. All right, Ohio and Missouri. All right, there we go. And that was their turn. Now they have a lot of cubes on the board. That looks pretty daunting, but we'll get back to that. All right, so now it is turn number two for the suffragist and let's take this out because that didn't actually happen. This one gets discarded. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play National Women's Right Convention. Playable if Civil War is not into effect. There'll be some cards that have uh, either for the round or for the rest of the game. If they're in effect, like if amendments get passed and all that stuff and historical events, they'll stay in the game. They still only activate once, but some other cards will trigger off. So Civil War is not in effect. I can place one support in Congress and add one in each state of each region. All right, so we'll start up here. Um, I'm going to try to go back to New York. So we'll do New York. Um, Pennsylvania, so let's try to get some support in Pennsylvania. So I'll put one cube in Pennsylvania, which removes their one cube. Then down here, what do we got? We got Texas. I'll put one in Texas, gets rid of one of theirs. Uh, Midwest, we have Illinois and Ohio. Let's work on Ohio, because that's my state. And then we'll do Montana and California. All right, and that was my turn. Done. And that was turn two. All right, back to Oppobot. When it's their turn, they flip a card. They do it for the text if they can. If not, they do a campaign action. Um, play if there is at least one in Congress, and there is. Remove one from Congress. Dang it, just got it in there. Add two in Missouri. Oh man. They're getting, they're really digging in Missouri. All right, so Missouri is getting carried away. All right, back to the suffragists. I like to do this card. So we're gonna do a Vindication of the Rights of Woman. I'm gonna draw two cards from the draw deck, discard one and play one for the event. All right, so let's see what we got here. So we have Francis Willard and Susan B. Anthony indicted. Let's do, I'm gonna to go to Francis Willard. So let's get some more support and I get two buttons. So now we have two buttons, all right. And then both of these are discarded. I played one, but they both get discarded. All right, done. 
Now we're back to the Alpha Bot. They'll flip a card. Old Dixie. Add one in each of Louisiana. Mississippi. Oh, I forgot to put that there before. Mississippi. So they'll actually have two now. Mississippi. Uh, Alabama. Georgia. And Florida. All right. So they're growing. They're supporting the South, which makes sense. The South is was a late adopter to all of it. Uh, back to suffragists. Let's do this one. Pioneer women. So I'm going to roll a D8. That's what the white diamond is. I roll a D8. Ooh. Now, when you roll and you don't like the result, you can spin the button, which is what I'm going to do. But then you have to re-roll all dice. I only have one, so I'm going to re-roll one. Damn, that's terrible. One more. One more. All right. Ah, that's better. All right. Now, I get to place that number of states in the Plains region, or that number of cubes in the Plains region, no more one per state. So, I'll just do one in each state, except for Oklahoma. So, all right, and that is it. Now, before we go any farther, let's talk about these state cards down here. State cards are one-time cards that you can grab. They're one-time use cards that you can grab once you get four cubes in a state that's in a card. It doesn't mean you're gonna win the state forever, it just means you get a card, you get a one-time ability that you can play on your turn along with your regular card that you play. So you always play a regular card and you may play one of these, which we'll get to, or one state card, all right? So let's do, that was the suffragist turn, I think. Yes, so now let's go to Appabot. Uh, okay, play if it is round one, two, or three. It is round four, so this will not play, so they'll do a campaign action. Now, the way their campaign action works is they roll a d6. I choose their dice. They roll a d6, and it moves their campaigner. Five. Now, if there is a card available in that region, they're going to direct all of their attention to that, that card, which there is. So then they're going to roll a d4, which is this, and they're going to put... That many cubes in that state. Oh. Let me re-roll that again. I don't know where it went. So four cubes, which is not good. All right, so they put four cubes in there. And then they will take Pennsylvania. Once you get four cubes, you get the card immediately. And their card will fire right now. Add one to each state in the Atlantic and Appalachian region, except Pennsylvania. Atlantic and Appalachia region, except Pennsylvania. So one, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that was not a good turn. And that card's gone. It's a one-time ability. That was not a good turn. All right, suffragist turn. Let's, we got to do something big. Uh, let's do this one. So we're going to play Francis Harper. Roll a D8, and we're going to try to get some cubes into the Appalachian region, which is green. Five, we'll make that. That'll be fine. We'll make that. We'll let that work. I don't want to spend all my buttons. So five in this region. So let's do two, four, and then one from Pennsylvania. All right. So cleared out their cubes. Then as Abobot, they will do... Add one in each of Delaware, Maryland. I always get confused where everything is over here. So Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia. Oh man, just clean these out. Kentucky and Missouri. Oh man, is there a Missouri card? There is not. Good, good, because they just hit four. All right, and done. My last turn of the round, you get six rounds, six turns on the round. It's called turns for the rounds, but six turns on each round. And so you have one card left. And I think I'm going to do this one. And next I'm gonna do this one. The union signal. That will give me one button. Uh, and I add one in each state of each region. All right, so that's six regions. So I want three purple cubes. Three yellow cubes. And let's start with region one. Let's go to Cali. Let's go to Montana. Let's go to Ohio. 
Virginia, Texas, and New York. All right, done. Now, Appabot gets one more turn. Gerrymandering. Remove all yellow from the two states with the most yellow. So that would be this one. And I don't know with if they're tied, so let's just take California. I'm not sure how the ties break, so we'll just do that. And done. All right, now that's the end of the round. First thing that happens is you slide this over. Suffragists will draw up to six cards. Draw six cards, so they have seven in their hand. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the strategy phase. This is skipped in the first round. What happens here in the Oppobot game, and it's kind of similar in a multiplayer game, is you're going to bid buttons to try to get these cards. Now, the suffragists get to bid first. Um, if you So you bid, then the opposition gets to either match it or exceed. If they match, both people pay the money, nobody gets a card. If they exceed it, both people pay the money, opposition gets the card. If they don't do anything at all, the suffragists spend their buttons, take a card. Right, so those are the three. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and bid all three. Now, Oppabot is going to roll a D4. This is an eight side or 12 sided dice, but it's only four. So they bid two. So I have to lose all my buttons. I beat them. They had two, I had three. So I got to take one of these cards. Uh, let's do this one. So I'll take this one. It'll go over here for me to be able to use whenever I want to, but I'll keep it over here so I know I'm probably going to use it on this turn. Then I'll flip the third one. And now. That's it. And that's how we're going to keep playing through four, six rounds. Um, so let's talk about the end game here. So once Congress is officially lobbied successfully and they have sent the amendment to the states, immediately at that point, we're going to take a look at the board and make some changes. So we will look at the board. Let's go ahead and do this up a little bit. This one. This one. Just kind of want to show you a couple. All right, so any place that has four cubes will instantly get either an X or a check mark, depending on what side it is. So Colorado will get a check. They are in support of suffrage. Uh, Missouri will get an X. Maryland gets an X. And again, this is not how it would actually happen um, in the game. I'm just trying to show you what happens here. New York is going to get a check. All right. Now, now that these states have checks, they're no longer going to get cubes added to them. They're only going to be helping to end the game. Now, if at this time the suffragists had 36 votes or the opposition had 13 votes, that side would win. If neither one wins, you'd keep playing until the end of round six. Once that happens, if they're still not a winner, you're going to start in state one and region one, and you're going to roll appropriate dice. Cards may affect that, but it's normally you're going to roll an eight, a six-sided die, I believe, and you're going to try to make uh, get the win. So let's say we're doing California. This is the Apple Bot. This is me. We're going to roll. We're both going to roll. So I have a six. Apple Bot has a five. I have a seven because I have one cube in there. So seven to five, I would get rid of this cube and I would put down my check mark. If I lost that roll, just like every other time you lose a roll, you can spend a button to re-roll your die. I don't have to roll this one, just mine, and then try to get a better result. And we're gonna keep doing that until we go through all the states, until somebody hits the threshold to win. And at that point, the game is over and the proper side based on the number of votes is the winner. That's how you play Votes for Women. Let's go to the top. See what you think about it. What do you think, son? What do you think? All right, well, that was Votes for Women. So let's look at some of the components real quickly. You saw everything on the table, really, when, when we were doing the overview, but I wanted to get a little bit more up close and personal. So this is the opposition meeple. I love shaped meeples. This is a, a dude with a fist. I love that. Um, you have the purple campaigner for the suffragist side holding the flag. Purple campaigner without a flag, right there. Yellow campaigner with a flag. These are fantastic meeples, love them. The check marks are really cool too for the suffragist side. They're really neat. 
kind of like a chair. You can make it like a chair if you want. Check mark, X's. Those are cool. Really nice dice. Uh, these are the hard dice for Oppo. I'm never going to use that. These congressional pillars are not fantastic, but they do the job. Still cool wooden bits. Um, and then, you know, my favorite part, cubes. I love cubes. So I love all of it. I like the production. Really nice card quality. They're all in finished. Cool, like, real art or real pictures from back in the time period, I think. Could be drawings. Some of them look like, I think they're real pictures. Um, that's really cool, too. Very thematic. All the cards have to do with people of the time, events that happened. Super thematic, great production, and a whole bag of dice. That's cool. So that is the production. Big fan. Shores of Tripoli is another game that this company did. It also has fantastic production, great wooden bits, nice cards. So they're really knocking it out of the park with what they do, and they're doing it well. So let's talk about the game. Now, I've played exactly two war slash political games, and that is both from this company. So Shores of Tripoli, which we have a, uh, on the channel. I'll put a link or an eye or whatever so you can go check that out. And then this one. And I got to say, this one is amazing. Now, I've heard it's compared to like 1960, The Making of a President. I've never played that. Uh, I guess technically I played Founding Fathers as well. So three, three games. And that's a Jason Matthews game. I think 90, 1960 is a Jason Matthews game. So I've never played that. So I can only talk about this one. But this one. Love it. I love the card play. Everything you do takes a card. So it's kind of like brass. If you ever played brass where, you know, if I want to build, I need to use a card. If I want to take a loan, I have to spend a card. If I want to build a, a railway, got to spend a card. If I want to take a loan, got to, you know, spend a card. So everything you're doing in this, you're using a card, even if you're not using the card for the event. And I love that. It seems so tense. I've played as both sides. Um, and they both play very differently. But it feels different pressure at different times like uh, I was playing a solo game and I had all these cubes on the board and I got the um, Congress to send the 19th Amendment to the states for voting but I failed some dice rolls and I didn't get enough support in the states so I had all this everything was going my my way in the uh, on the board but I didn't win enough states you have to win 36 states think 30 yeah 36 states to win the game as a suffragist you only have to win 13 as the opposition so while it feels like when you're the opposition things aren't going your way you only need to win 13 because you need to have two-thirds to get get it ratified and all that stuff and it is so good it is dripping with theme it's super fun game to play great card system great production and i love it so without belaboring it too much more I'm going to give this a BGM accepted seal. This is going to get a 9 out of 10 on BGG, which is a 4.5 out of 5 wrenches on an arbitrary wrench scale. That means absolutely nothing. But with that, take it with the games that we enjoy. And that's what we're going to do. So that is Votes for Women from Fort Circle Games. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming.